Hi, I'm Betsy from Payable Apps, and today I want to walk you through how to make a pizza day order form with Payable Forms. So first step, I'm going to use this template, which I got from my Google Form templates. So if you go to payableapps.com slash templates, you'll find that we actually have a ton of templates, but today I'm going to focus on a bunch of school templates to get us set up for back to school. So if you want to use this template, which obviously I'll show you how to edit it once we're in it, um, you can use this button right here, which is copy template. So I've renamed this to be the grade three pizza day order form. Obviously you can use whatever you want, grade two, something for a specific teacher, something for just your school in general. Um, I'm going to add teacher's name and I'm also going to move it just right underneath the classroom number and you want this to be short answer. You could also, if you had a few different teachers, you could add multiple choice or a checkbox. So for example, if you had Mrs. English, uh, Mr. <laughs> French, uh, Mrs. Smith, and Mademoiselle, and then nah. <laughs> Work with this here. So you could add different sections. So this is a service agreement, weird writing here, but let's just say maybe uh, agreement. I acknowledge that the snack should be provided to my child in addition to pizza on pizza days, and that the pizza will be cross-contaminated with allergens, et cetera, et cetera. Um, gluten, dairy, let's add, make sure that this has peanuts. And then somebody has to acknowledge this as a parent. So then you want to do select your pizza type and amount here in section three. So say they want vegetarian pizza, pepperoni pizza, et cetera. Those are the only options. Let's say you could also add something else. So say we wanted to add cheese, for example. Um, let's duplicate this and do cheese pizza. Get rid of this. It's kind of cool too. I don't know if you've used this before, but you can always update um, this image. So say we wanted to delete that. And if you want, you can actually change this image really easily as well. So if you go to change, you can actually search by Google images as well. So for example, I'm going to look for a cheese pizza icon. So once you've found one that you like, that looks like the pizza of your dreams, you can select this and let's insert that. Perfect. If you have any items like parent helpers that you would like, you can also add that here as well um, and update this. It's really easy if you'd like to select, you know, the different dates and let the parents assign themselves to it. But if you also want to delete the section, that's pretty easy too. Um, you can just go right here and hit delete and it will get rid of section four for you. Perfect. So I think my form is about exactly what I'm after. So from here, we're gonna make it payable. If you go up here to the puzzle piece and go to add-ons, you'll see that I have payable forms. Here, we wanna make this form payable you will get an extra sort of pop-up here for you that can help you figure everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit auto configure form and sheet. So you should get a little bit of a pop-up here that tells you a bunch of info and what was happening in the background. This will also lead you to the connected Google sheet where it will record the answers. I'm going to sync the theme with the checkout, which just adds the colors I've chosen to the checkout and makes it all look the same. You can close that. For adding a payment provider, I would suggest ensuring that you're using the correct account from the get-go. It makes it a lot easier, but you can always update it after the fact. Say you connect Square, but you actually needed to connect your school's PayPal. It's no issue, you can update it after the fact. But just make sure that you are not connecting your personal Square account, but you actually need to connect your school's Square account. Just make sure that you're dealing with all of that because once people do start paying you, the money is going to start flowing to whatever account you have hooked up here. So in this example, I'm going to connect the PayPal standard.
So here, this will take you to the Connect to PayPal standard page. You can click this button right here. It should give you a login. Once you're all logged in, you should be redirected. It's going to ask you if it's for personal use or for a business or organization. I'll leave this up to you to decide which one. In my case, I would be using it for personal use. However, if you do have your school and it is a business or organization, it might have a different rate set up with PayPal. So in that case, you might want to click that button instead, depending on what account you're using. You can hit next. Perfect. And you can go back to Payable Inc. So here we have a preview of the form just to make sure everything's working. So let's fill it out. So we have the sample pizza day order form. You can always update that to change the name. Uh, we're going to have my email, brooklynbakehouse at gmail.com. Cindy Lou, classroom is number 403. Teacher's name is going to be uh, Mrs. Smith. And I'm going to hit next. I'm going to acknowledge that there might be peanuts and dairy here as a parent. Hit next. So here we can pick whatever we're after. Um, let's say that I want two sli slices of vegetarian pizza, one slice of pepperoni, and then also one slice of cheese. I'm very hungry for lunch on September 22nd. Hit submit. So here you'll be brought to the secure checkout link, which is right here. Parents can click this. And they will be brought to a checkout page here. So this should have a recap of what they've ordered uh, with the total amount, $11.50. And if you want to check that everything's working, you can really easily just put in some of these um, test card details as well. You can enter your name and email here. And again, this is in testing mode, so none of this is real, but let's do this with a MasterCard. So we're going to put this here. Expiry is 0925. CVV is 371. And you can pick any postal code you want. I like to pretend I'm living in Beverly Hills. And you can click Pay with MasterCard. This will process and it will give the parent an order form with that is marked as paid. So when a parent does submit the form, so for example, this order form we just went through, um, they will get this email right before they kind of, if they don't click through that link, the checkout link that we went through to do the test uh, purchase, they will also get this email so they can always go back to it. And if they click through to this, it actually goes to the order, which will say that it is paid. So the other cool thing that happens when you, as the owner of the form, gets an order is that you will get an email saying that you got a new submission from whoever it was. In this case, it was myself to myself. You can see your responses in your connected Google Sheet that's attached to the form. So let's take a look at that next. So here, we can see that we got uh, on August 8th, a submission for Cindy Lou, uh, classroom is 403, Mrs. Smith, and what the order was. So we have two slices of vegetarian, one pepperoni, one cheese, what the order ID is. So these are the payable um, columns that are added to your sheet automatically. So you can see what the total was. You can see that there was a test order, that it was a MasterCard, it will give you a transaction ID. And then if there's anything that's been updated, it will be here as well. So as you get more orders to your form, they'll all fall into your sheet here and you can kind of sort and do anything you need to do here in this sheet to keep yourself really organized with your pizza day ordering. So once you've tested the form and you feel really confident about it, uh, the next thing you wanna do is go here to testing mode and it says on right now, but if we go off, as you can see, it will say real money. So now, you will actually be able to accept credit cards or PayPal, Square, Stripe, et cetera, through your form, um, it will, will go to your attached account. There are some other settings that are really interesting. So if you did wanna add anything or change the currency, you can also add maybe a surcharge. 
So say, for example, um, you wanted to add a tax or a handling fee, something to cover uh, your PSP charges that could work as well. And then if you did ever need a promo code, you can create uh, up to th three promo codes for your form. So say, I don't know, something occurred, somebody won a free slice of pizza, et cetera. You could always kind of let them order it here and you know create a code that says free pizza and you could add it add it to this and it will work on your form. One thing within your settings that you might just want to check is that your responses are open to anyone. If you are operating within an organization, so say your work or your school, for example, it might say that only people who are within your network are allowed to respond to the form, which obviously you're going to keep it, have to keep it open if you do have um, parents answering that are outside of your network, say, you know, your school email, et cetera, but you're using Google Workspace. Um, so just make sure that's on before you send the form out. And if you want to share it, um, you can go to send. You can obviously just send via a link or you can add email addresses. I mean, if you possibly have an email list that's attached to this, then that, that could be really easy. If you already have that, um, you could enter them here, but otherwise uh, just sending a link, you can also shorten it, um, hit copy, and then put it in an email to all the parents that need to fill out the form. I hope that helped everyone today. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to put your comments underneath our YouTube. Uh, we are always monitoring that, so we like to get back to people. Um, and we also do have a chat box uh, on the page that you can, you can get to us to ask any um, real-time questions if you have any bugs that come up. Thanks.